One of the major factors that contributed to the fact that I haven't switched for so long from a portable and small star tracker like a Star Adventure into a proper go-to mount like the one that you see behind me is the fact that these go-to mounts require an external power supply in order to work. It's not like you can stuff a bunch of AA batteries into them and expect them to work. They need a power supply of 12 volts and a significant amperage in order to operate. And most people online that I saw were using these kind of power bricks from Jackery that are heavy, bulky and frankly quite expensive. So in this video I want to show you an alternative approach to powering your go-to mount with something that I literally have in my back pocket right now. I have been using this for quite a while with my mount and I absolutely love it. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what we have here is a power bank from Omegon. This is a company that you may know. They make a lot of astrophotography accessories. The model is called GP09. And this is a power bank specifically made and designed in order to power a astronomical mount, like a, like a go-to mount that I mentioned. Uh, on this side, it sports a standard kind of a car plug right here to which you can uh, attach your mount a power cable so you can just put it on like that and it powers on immediately and then uh, beside here you have three usb type a ports so you can power alongside the mount uh, things like dew shields uh, maybe a dummy battery for your for your camera i have been lately using this kind of dummy battery that requires a usb power bank on this end so i can just plug it in into the single power supply to uh, power both my camera and my mount which is very very convenient as you can see the form factor is really really small it is only 17 centimeters long 10 centimeters wide and 4 centimeters thick right here it weighs just short of the one kilogram to be exact 975 grams so it's very easy to carry around and it comes in this nice little pouch that you can uh, put it inside you can lock it in like this you can put it uh, into your backpack into whatever bag you are using to to transport yourself to a dark site and you can conveniently even use it like this being in the pouch and i um, usually put it on the tripod shelf of my mount and this kind of pouch prevents it from slipping uh, off the shelf accidentally uh, as you can see it has four diodes here that uh, will show you how much juice does it have left if you click it once it will show you uh, how much power do you have so we have four levels and as it is discharging and operating it will continue to flash these diodes and you can observe which one of these are getting turned off to indicate how much power do you have left what you also have right here is a light on this side i have personally never used that but if you press it uh, power it on and then press it twice it turns on this kind of white light so you can for instance at the end of an imaging session you can turn it on and make sure that you took everything from the location you didn't leave anything out in the field and then if you uh, long press it it activates this kind of an emergency light wait a minute let's turn it off and then long press this is like a red flashing emergency light i don't know what purpose would that serve i don't use that but it is there as a kind of a bonus feature in order to charge this power bank as you can see right here beside the usb ports there's a port to charge it and it comes with this cable that just goes into a wall socket so you can charge it up it also comes with this kind of a leaflet so you can read all about it and i'm going to put some specs on the screen right now so so you can get familiar with that i will also put these specs in the description of this video so you can check that out and uh, because this, uh, this this device actually is rated to be waterproof, it has these uh, flaps right here, rubber flaps for the for all of the ports. So when you end your imaging session, uh, you can just close these flaps. And if you take it into your warm car or apartment, you can be uh, definitely sure and convenient that if condensation starts to form on that, and it will because of the cold device, warm air forms condensation nothing is going to happen with this power bank which is really cool like i said it is designed to be working with astronomical mounts so it knows what kind of conditions does it need to withstand 
All right, so you're now maybe thinking, okay, that is all great. It is small, it is lightweight, and also it is kind of cheap. Uh, I will uh, put the link down below in the description of this video on a site where I purchased it. It's not on Amazon, I couldn't find it, but astroshop.eu has it. This is an European store based in Germany, but they do ship worldwide, and it costs 160 US dollars which is uh, VAT included. So I think this is a very, very good price for a device like this. But the main question is, does it really hold up to power a go-to mount and how for how long can it, uh, can it last, especially in freezing temperatures? So I have been using it for a few sessions already and I must say that this device is very, very capable of powering the mount. Last time I was using it with my Skywatcher EQM35. I had it plugged in right here. And I also had the dummy battery for my Canon 2000D DSLR camera plugged in at all times. And after three hours of imaging, only one of those four diodes went off, which means that I discharge around 25%. So if I do the math correctly, I could run this for 12 hours uh, operating both my mount and my camera, which is really insane for a small portable and lightweight device like this Omegon um, power bank. So I can highly, highly recommend that. If you have a big amount like an EQ6R Pro or something, it probably, it most likely will discharge it faster. But even though if you can have like, maybe six hours out of that, I think this is definitely acceptable for any given night. And honestly, you can have two of these and it still will be cheaper and more convenient to carry around than a Jackery power brick. So I can highly recommend that. Again, links are down below if you want to check that out. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to leave it a like. Also consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting a lot more astrophotography related content and hopefully see you in one of my next videos. Clear skies and bye-bye.